مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم Welcome again to our gateway to Arabic channel with me Dr. Imran Hamza Alawiye Today's lesson let's continue learning our vocabulary we're still using the root letter system and today's letters are ain waw and dal ada yaudu Audun. And that is verb to to return. Did I say Ein Wow and Dal? Yes, I did. And I'm writing Ein Alif and Dal. Yes. The reason be this particular verb belongs to the category of verbs known as Fialun uh, Ejwafu. Holo verb. And when you see an alif, stick alif. Pretending to be the second root letter. No, 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 no. That's not the identity. It's representing either wow or ya. Yeah. But how do we know that? Yes, you look at the present tense or look at the noun. The original letter will reemerge. Okay, such as ada, that's alif, present tense, yaudu. You can see wow there. And the noun is audun. Wow is the second root letter. That has been explained in one of my book, I think book four of Gateway to Arabic. Uh, check that out on YouTube, Gateway to Arabic, uh, and it's uh, book four. Okay, let's now, <laughs> let's conjugate this now, shall we? Ada. Ada means he returned. Ada. She returned. Ada with an alif. They two men returned. Adata two women returned. Adu three or more men returned. Odna uh, three or more women returned. That's a third person. Second person, people in front of you. Odda, you male singular returned. Odti, you female singular returned. Odtuma, both of you, whether you are two men or two women, returned. It's the same. Odtuma. Odtum, all of you, uh, whether you are three or more men, returned. Autunna, three or more of you feminine returned. Uh, the speaker will say, Autu, I returned. And is gender neutral. We say, Autna, we returned. Also is a gender neutral, which I like. <laughs> right, okay. Now let's move to the present tense. Present tense is Yaudu, he returns. Taudu, she returns. Yaudani, they, two men, return. Taudani, two women, return. Yauduna, three or more men, return. And Yaudna, three or more feminine, return. Okay. Second person. Ta'udu. You male singular return? Or returning. Ta'udina. You female singular return. Ta'udani. Both of you, whether you are two men or two women, return. Ta'uduna. All of you, three or more of you, men return. And Ta'udna. All of you, female return. First person, Aoudu, Aoudu, I return, and Naoudu, we return. Okay, uh, let's do uh, imperative, command. Commanding is singular, male, you say, Aoud, go back. <laughs> yes, return, go back. Uh, commanding is singular, 
female, you say, Rudy, go back. I'm commanding two people, whether they are two men or two women, we say, Rudy, go back, both of you. And commanding three or more uh, masculine, you say, Rudy, go back, return. <laughs> And to uh, three or more women commanding that you say, Odna, get back. Okay, conjugation done. Uh, let's illustrate this with uh, some random short sentences, shall we? <laughs> so I can say, Mata ta'udu min as safar? Mata ta'udu min as safar? When would you get back from. The journey from your journey. Mata ta'udu min as safar. Okay, oh, sa'udu ba'da usbu'aini, insha'Allah. I'll get back, I return um, two weeks' time, insha'Allah. God willing. In the past tense, you can say, Mata ta'udta, when did you get back min as safar from the journey? You can say, oh, Uddu Mundu Yawmain. Uddu Mundu Yawmain. Oh, I came back uh, two days ago. Uddu uh, Mundu Yawmain. Oh, you can say, Uddu uh, Litawi. I've just uh, returned. Uddu Litawi. I've just get back. Oh, okay. What else? Um... You can use it also um, figuratively, such as Ada ila rushdihi. Ada ila rushdihi. Um, he came uh, to his senses. Somebody has been behaving erratically. <laughs> that means saying strange things. They say, oh, uh, Ada ila rushdihi. So he came to his senses at last. <laughs> Um, okay, another, uh, I think this is an idiom, uh, if you come across it, it goes like this. Adatil miyahu ila majariha. Adatil miyahu ila majariha. Meaning, uh, the situation returned to normal. The situation returned to normal. ila majariha. And the real meaning of um, the words in this idiom is adatil miyahu. Miyahu is water. Return ila majariha to its normal flow. But it's used for the situation return to normal. Adatil miyahu. Ila majariha. This kind of thing is useful for you. To be able to, to feel good inside yourself when you are able to uh, express yourself in this way. Okay. Now let's have a look at the form two from Ada Yaudu. And the pattern of that will be Awada. You Awidu. Awada. And, and that is, uh, it means to condition somewhere, someone to something. So an example will be. Oh, awatana ala karamik. Awatana ala karamik. The equivalent would be such generosity is what we've come to expect from you. Yes, is we are accustomed to this now. You're such a generous person. You make good donation to my charity. Helping hands for education. Please do. <laughs> and thanks for those of you who have done. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, okay, let's concentrate, shall we? Yeah. Let's look at form four. It's useful there. Form four of Ada Yaudu. And that would be Aada Yuidu Iadatun. And that is to repeat something, to give something back. So we can say, um, Aid, zelike min fodlik. Aid, That means, repeat that, please. Aid, zelike 
Men Fort Lake. Please repeat that. Another one to finalize, to finish it with, would be Arju and to read another fi had al amur. Arju and to read another fi had al amur. I hope that you will reconsider this matter. Arju and to read another fi had al amur. We stop here. Another uh, set of root letters analyzed for you, conjugated for you, illustrated for you. It is up to you now to learn your vocabulary. And don't forget to subscribe. And please help my charity below. These are details on how to donate to my charity. Helping Hands for Education. And thank you so much for those of you who have done so. But we have a long way to go. I'm very grateful for few of you who have done so. Thank you so much. Shukran jazilan. Ahsan Allahu ilaykum. Jazakum Allahu khayran. Assalamu alaykum. Ma'a salama. Ila liqa. Fi amanillah.